The driver of a tractor trailer carrying more than 100 undocumented immigrants into San Antonio should never have been behind the wheel. That's because the state of Florida had suspended his commercial driving license earlier this year. Six-year-old James Bradley faces a federal charge of illegally transporting immigrants for financial gain, resulting in death. Authorities found the truck Sunday morning in a Walmart parking lot crammed with dozens of people. Ten died. Many others remain in the hospital. We've also learned that two of the passengers were on their way to Minnesota. Our Mary McGuire is live in the newsroom with more on this story's connection to our state. Mary. Good morning, Jason. Well, this morning we are learning about that Minnesota connection from one man who was hospitalized after that horrific trailer ride. He told investigators he and his brother paid 60,000 pesos or about 3,300 U.S. dollars for the Mexico portion of his trip into the United States. Now, that is just one story of the dozens of survivors who remain hospitalized this morning following the gruesome discovery on Sunday. The driver of that trailer, James Bradley, has a criminal history dating back 20 years with felony arrests in Colorado and an escape warrant in Florida. His checkered past, it doesn't end there. As a commercial truck driver, he has been repeatedly cited for safety violations. The special agent in charge of the criminal investigation doesn't believe that he acted alone. It's never just the driver by himself or herself. These organizations consider these people simply a commodity. They don't think of them as, as people. They, they look at them from a profit perspective. Federal investigators are looking for more suspects in connection with the tractor trailer deaths. Truck drivers are supposed to check in at way stations along their routes to log time and location, but a veteran driver like Bradley may have known his way around the system. Now, he has yet to enter a plea in connection with this case. He is expected back in court tomorrow, Jason. Uh, as one would expect, Mary, this is a pretty severe penalty that the truck driver faces, right? That's right. This is serious charges he faces, especially given that 10 people lost their lives. Lives in his truck. If convicted, he could face the death penalty or life in prison. Just a really unbelievable story, Jason. Indeed. Mary, thank you.